Okay, so up until now, my Orange Pi 5 Plus has only had Joshua Reich's version of Ubuntu, which is a great version of Ubuntu, works really well. I've customized it a bit, played around with it, installed all sorts, and uh, I'm really happy with how it works. But there's another operating system that also works very well on Orange Pies, which is Ambient. And I thought it'd be nice to try and get it working with KDE Plasma, but also still having the GPU support that's mentioned on their website. So on the downloads page of the Ambient site, if we scroll down, you can see Orange Pi 5, 5B and 5 Plus. Uh, and there is a download here, but if you scroll down, it, it does say here additional images for Model Plus can be downloaded here. So let's go for one of the smaller images, this one from 27th of June. And it looks like it's a torrent file. So let's click on that and add that. So it's 606 megabytes, 10 minutes at the moment, but it looks like it's gonna be much quicker than that. So I plug my little NVMe drive into my Oracle case and let's open up Raspberry Pi Imager. This will be the same process on Windows or Linux, anything that runs Raspberry Pi Imager. And go down to use custom and you can see the download is here. Don't need to unzip it. Let's hit open. Choose my NVMe as storage and hit right and yes. And come back when that's all done. It won't take very long. Okay, so that's all finished. So I can unplug this and pop it on the bottom of my Orange Pi 5 Plus and boot up. Had a light flash and it's starting to boot. Armbian gets you to create a root password and I usually choose bash. Pop your name in and your password. So it's detected London, happy with that. And I'm number two on here. And we're in, let's just try NeoFetch to see if that's already installed, which it is. So Armbian 23080, Orange Pi 5 Plus, 16 gig model, running at 1.8 gigahertz at the moment. And I've got to get to work. So for now, I'm going to shut it down. Let's try again with the space. Okay, so let's update and upgrade. And let's go sudo ambient config because I found something new in here that I haven't seen before. Uh, so system security. Install desktop with browser and extras. And you can see there's loads of different options here. And one of them is KDE Plasma. So let's go with that. Okay, so that's finished. So let's go back and exit. And let's try start X and see if that works. Let's do what it says. Apt installs in it. Seems like quite a lot. Okay, perfect. I wanted this uh, because LightDM doesn't seem to work with KDE Plasma but SDDM does, so let's try that. Seems to be doing a lot with languages and various different things. Okay, so that's finished. Let's try start X again. Something has gone wrong, so let's do reboot and log in and just do a bit of customization. So let's go themes, global theme, get new themes and let's go with iridescent. There should be another one here. Oh, okay, we'll just go with iridescent and install okay so that looks like it's there so we can pick it use desktop layout from theme and apply it hasn't updated these yet but it will probably quite soon let's go to icons let's get new icons let's go with candy okay so i've been playing around with the system and just doing some more customization changing the wallpaper and various things and i like the way it looks but i can't get it to work with the graphics drivers so i've tried adding this and i keep getting a message so if i put this first line in to terminal i'm getting uh you need to install mali g610 firmware if you don't have file lib firmware mali well i put the file in there manually but i guess it has to be installed in the proper way uh, let me just control c so i can abort out of that i've also gone through the more information link here and tried in that and tried to follow the instructions and uh, how to install it and so on but I, ca I can't get it to work so what i think i'm going to do is go back to the downloads page and download the orange pi 5 version 
that has an OS already in it. And I think this possibly only works properly with GNOME. So let's click on this for model plus link here and work out which one's got GNOME on it, which is annoying because you can't really see. Now this one's probably one of the biggest ones. So if we do copy link address, let's have a look at it. What have I got in KD Plasma K right? Yeah. So let's see what it says. Oh, so that's Cinnamon. Which one was it, that one? That one's known. Right, which one was that one? Oh, well, it doesn't matter because I can just copy this in. And let's download it on this device. So 1.5 gigs, so let's come up when that's done. But yeah, I, I always like the way KDE Plasma, it's why I use it my Raspberry Pi. I like the way that it window snaps. Uh, I like the way you can press the Windows key and just start typing. So if I start typing imager and just hit enter, it will come up. I could also just start typing on the desktop. If I start typing terminal, you can see that it comes up and various different things. Uh, all the settings as well. So if I wanted display, you can see all the things related to display comes up. Uh, I've tried all sorts of things and I, yeah, I can't get it to work with the 3D drivers. And to show that it's not working, we go back to Chromium and type in Chrome GPU. You can see that it's all software only, not hardware enabled. So I'll maybe come back to it at a different time. But for now, I think I'm just gonna try the GNOME version and show how to install that. So the download is finished, as you can see here, but let's just show you a bit of YouTube. Uh, it really does struggle because hardware graphics isn't enabled. So it's on 4K at the moment. If I do stats for nerds, you'll see that it's constantly dropping frames and really struggling with it. And it's dropped down to 1920 by 1080. Whereas on Ubuntu and uh, Ambien on the Orange Pi 5, uh, the versions I've tried before, 4K playback is fine once GPU is enabled. So I plugged my Oracle Caddy into the Orange Pi 5 Plus, so I'm gonna use Imager to write this OS to a different NVMe drive. So let's press the Windows key and start typing Imager. Hit Choose OS, scroll down to the bottom and Custom. You can see it's the only thing in my Downloads folder. And Choose, and here's my NVMe drive. You can see it comes up, I love the way it comes up in KDE Plasma. So let's click on that and hit right. Shouldn't take very long because I'm going from a fast drive to a fast drive. Okay, so that's all finished. So we can unplug this now. Let's shut down and just swap over the NVMe drives. So we'll take out this little one and pop the big one in and switch on and it boots up. So I put all the details in the same as I did before and we have a desktop. Okay, so do we have Chrome browser on here? We do. Let's just see if GPU is enabled. Oh, it is anyway. So all of this is hardware accelerated, excellent. But unfortunately 4K 60, just it doesn't like it at all. Uh, it's weird because it does work in the Ubuntu version with hardware acceleration. Uh, I'll try and apply the patch, but you can see what I'm getting here. Uh, just nothing at all really. And if I drop it down, just to get it started playing. So let's just go to 360 for now. Okay, well, let's not bother with that. Uh, let's go to the Ambien site and let's just try and apply that patch and see if it see if it makes the difference. I think I can do it all at once. Pop that into a terminal. Interesting, it's updating Chromium browser. So maybe that will do something better. Might as well close this down. Chromium codex. I can see pan fork. Definitely does seem to be doing a load of things that didn't happen with my KDE Plasma build. And that says directory does not exist. Well, let's reboot anyway and have a look. Okay, well, if anything, it seems to have got worse and doesn't play YouTube at all. The mouse pointer is really sketchy. So yeah, I think I'm gonna abandon that for now and come back to Ambien another time. Uh, let's just open a tab and close down this one because when it's playing YouTube videos, it's really, really struggling. Uh, if I go in, it does say that everything is enabled uh, I mean, it did before, but yeah, it really isn't making a good effect. So let's go for the custom Ubuntu. So Joshua Ubuntu GitHub. And the latest version for Orange Pi 5 is version 1.19. And there's a few things that have changed on various different boards because this is compatible with lots of RK3588 boards. 
but we have uh, fixed the audio jack on the Orange Pi 5 Plus and fixed display poor audio. I don't know if that refers to the Orange Pi, but let's download this Orange Pi 5 Plus. Hopefully it won't affect the download speed. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, I've already installed Raspberry Pi Imager, uh, which is here. So I'm gonna write that image back to the other NVMe drive and then start that up and try that for video performance. Okay, so that's all downloaded. So let's choose that and open and we'll write it to the NVMe drive and hit write and yes and be able to switch them over when it's all finished. Now we're talking, uh, that looks much, much better. Uh, so current optimal resolution 3840 by 2160 60 hertz. Uh, it is on a 1080 monitor. It is dropping the occasional frame, but it's not noticeable. So you can see there, 16 frames out of 2,600, and that looks lovely and crisp. So uh, yeah, very nice from Ubuntu. So if you try a later version of Ambient and the video is sorted out, let me know in the comments. I'm sure they'll be on the case soon. It's a really well-maintained operating system. But uh, for now, I'm going to stick with Ubuntu as my main OS on the Orange Pi 5 Plus. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.